Whoa. Uh, I don't know if he spotted us. Whoops. Okay, time to go. We gotta Larry the Lumberjack. We don't wanna mess with him. Whoa, snap. Yeah, we're gonna get a broken leg. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 18. I'm an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. With nightmare speed, zombies run all of the time, day and night. Speaking of which, it's nighttime now. Um, so, I was downstairs uh, working on some building stuff, and we got a running horde coming through. So now they're all down there causing a ruckus. So, um, what we're going to do is I think we're going to take off and go after the airdrop and the buried treasure. But before we do that, um, I, I did some, th some stuff. So I basically, I made a platform here. Um, so I made a little platform down there with a ladder and a ramp to jump up there and some bars so I can shoot through, uh, at the zombies later on. So we got that done. Uh, put some more chests in. So this chest is food and medical. This chest is tools and weapons. This chest is raw materials. This chest is parts. This one will be, uh, you know, like clothing and armor, I guess. And we'll just add more chests as we need to. But we got a little bit of organization going on, which is good. Which is good. Uh, I also leveled because um, I did, did some, chopped a bunch of wood, did some digging, made some hay bales, laid some spikes down. Um, that sort of thing. And so, uh, what I decided to take for my next point is I took advanced engineering so we can make ourselves a forge. Uh, I still, I still want to get the, you know, next level in archery too, or archer, uh, coming up. We already have level two in, uh, from the shadows, which is pretty good. Um, but we needed to make a forge. So let's go ahead and do that first. And then we're going to take off before those assholes down there, you know, tear our place apart. But I wanted to get a forge going. And get some iron smelting uh, because we need the repair kits among other things. Okay, so what do we need for the forge? We need stone. Uh, we need clay soil, which should be here in the raw resources. We need leather, which should also be in the raw resources. We need duct tape, which I made, and three short iron pipes, which should be in the parts. All right, let's make ourselves a forge, guys. It's going to take one minute and 21 seconds. Very nice. Um, yeah, they're, they're really tearing the shit out of the place, aren't they? Okay, we need to, we need to get out of here as, we need to get out of here as soon as our forge is done and we can put some stuff in it. Because I, I haven't, I still haven't fully secured this place yet. I've been working on it, but, uh, haven't quite gotten that done yet. So, okay, so let's, yeah, it's just, you never really know exactly where they are. They sound like they're really close sometimes. Uh, I want to make a couple more repair kits with this remaining duct tape that we have. I took apart, there's like a, a transformer thing in doodle downstairs. I took it apart. I actually got a couple of um, uh, steel blocks and a couple more iron blocks, which was nice. Yeah, they, every time I open these chests, they hear that, and it irritates them. Um, okay, so let's put this forged iron in here. I guess we're keeping the parts in here. Um, what else do we want to do? We've got a shovel. We're making more repair kits so that we can uh, repair. Okay, good. There we go. There's our forge. All right, so let's just uh, stick that right there. Now, in Alpha 18, we do not have to have a, um, a crucible, an anvil, or um, a bellows. Uh, but if we find those later on, it'll, it'll just make the forge more efficient. I guess it'll craft things faster or whatever. But we don't, it's, they're not, no longer required, which is, for, which is really pretty nice. So let's grab that. Let's grab all of this iron. And we're going to... Stick that in there. Uh, how much iron do we have? Okay, let's take about half of our iron and get it smelting. Actually, yeah, let's do a little bit more than half. 
And no, you know what? We we have to put clay in here too, don't we? Okay. So yeah, let's put uh, let's get some clay. I want to get out of here before they really tear this place apart. Okay, so we'll put those two things back in there. Actually, no, let's take a few stones with us because we're still relying on stone pretty much for uh, making arrows. Okay, we got two food, three red tea. Um, how is our food right at the moment? Yeah, food and water is both pretty good, so I think I think we're ready to go. All right, let's get out of here before they do any more damage to our place. So, what I think we're going to do, let's go down here, just run. And, you know, once we get away from there, then they should chill out, quit tearing the shit out of place, and hopefully either meander off or despawn or whatever they do when we're not around. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. We got some blueberries. Oh, by the way, I, um... In, a, in an earlier episode, I picked some blueberries back in the other town, and I had I made a comment that I didn't want to eat them because I get food poisoning. But actually, you'll, there's only a one percent chance to get food poisoning from blueberries, which is pretty nice. Okay, so our objective right now is to go to uh, the drop, which should be around here, and hopefully we can find it. And then I'd like to do the buried treasure quest. Uh, this one, not the not the one for the for the dude. I mean, we'll, we'll do that too, but I don't think, and I could be wrong about this, and if I'm wrong, it's going to be an unpleasant surprise, but I don't think the Zeds will spawn when you do a normal treasure map. I think it's only on these, but I could be wrong about that, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, but let's work our way towards... Let's work our way towards the... Um, uh, oh, you know what? We need some wood. We absolutely need some wood. Let's change these back to normal blocks, too. So that way they're ready to go if I get into an emergency and need them. I like that new uh, option in the menu, too, for, for changing the shape of that stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's just go cut a little bit of wood. I actually planted a bunch of trees, uh, too, uh, by our, our base. Um, but I want to have some spikes uh, available to us, too. And I left uh, most of the wood back at the base. In fact, I left all the wood back at the base. So let's just grab this 1200 tree. Out of stamina. Out of stamina. Now, um, at some point, I want to I wanna try this thing out. Because I, I think you have to hit them like three times. And then on the third hit, or maybe you have to hit them three times. And then on the fourth hit, uh, it'll actually electrocute them and give them... You know, the same kind of a stun that they would get if they ran into an electric fence. So, I mean, that could be handy, too. And the thing is, is I don't know, we probably wouldn't be able to do that without taking a couple of hits ourselves. So, you know, I'm not really interested in, in getting too heavy into melee until we can, you know, until we have the armor. We have a little bit of armor, but we're not... Shit, I thought it was... Uh, we're not fully armored yet, so... Oh, by the way, um... I'll turn the gamma up on this in editing, too. Uh, just in general, guys, if I'm out at night, um, I'll, I'll turn the gamma up for you guys when I edit. Oh, damn, that's loud. Um, yeah, so that way you guys can see better. Just always remember, though, uh, that I, I, you know, it's the normal darkness for me, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's see... Somebody told me, excuse me, it's getting late. Somebody told me that if you if you break these, you can get a few more feathers, as you can see from it, but then they'll also respawn faster. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't really confirmed that myself, but uh, I was told that, so I don't know. I'll have to wait and see how that plays out, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah, we were going to make some spikes, weren't we? Put spikes trap. That'll make a seven. <clears throat> I kind of don't like having two melee tools on our toolbar since we're not even a melee build, but I mean, you know, we're not really going to have time to, to, to put one on there. And the spears, you know, the spear's not too bad. Um, you need, you, know, you really need to spec into it if you want it to be like really effective, but 
And maybe we will. I don't know. We might do that later. I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but... Um, there's a zombie over there. It's really not too terrible, actually. It's not the best melee weapon if you don't spec into it, but when you throw it, it does pretty, pretty decent damage, and it's kind of cool, too. And it does have lots of reach, so there's all those things it's got going for it. Okay, so I just kind of guessed, guesstimated on where that drop went. Oh, I think that's it, right? Is that it right in front of us? Uh, or is that a stump? Oh, here's another. Wait. What the hell is that? Oh, it's lead. It it doesn't look like lead in the in the lighting. It looked like it was all black and oily looking like almost like oil shale, except for oil shale doesn't look that way. Alright, um we don't we don't need that. We don't need that either. Um, okay. So yeah, somewhere around in here is where Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that, right on top of the hill. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. At what some point I'm gonna go still go look for that other drop too. Uh, but almost certainly we'll do that off camera unless we're also doing something else too. Oh, I guess we don't have to break this. What do we got? Ooh, look at that. Iron knuckles. Oh, and antibiotics. Very, very nice stuff. I will take it. Thank you very much, game. All of that's great stuff. And canned food, you know, is canned food's a lot more valuable now because it's the one type of food that you will not get food poisoning when you eat. Which used to be the other way around. You actually used to be able to have a chance of getting food poisoning from canned food. Okay, guys, so uh, another reason for us to spec into Fortitude, man, because Fortitude is uh, the governing uh, perk or skill or whatever, or attribute, I should say, for using your fists. And then we could put some points into Brawler at some point, you know, and that'll also meld well with our AK. Uh, unfortunately, the, the spear is governed by perception, so if we wanted to do that, we'd have to put some points in there. But you know what, Lucky Looter, though, oh shit, Lucky Looter is very important. And even Salvage Operation is pretty important, too. The Penetrator, what the hell is that? Oh, Armor Piercing, okay, that's kind of just, I don't know, you know, that's probably more of a, I would think of a PvP thing, but maybe not, I'm not sure. Animal Tracker, learn to take tracks of 100 meters. Uh, crouch down and use your kinetics to find the tracks of small animals like snake. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's new. I think that's new. That's actually really cool. If somebody wanted to do like a hunt, hunter build or something like that. I love it. I love it. Alpha 18 is pretty cool, you guys. It really is. It's really pretty damn cool overall. And and incidentally, I haven't had any more of those frame, frame rate issues. Oh, shit. Pay attention, old guy. I'm here blabbing. I'm going to get myself killed. I haven't had any more of those frame rate issues um, since we turned the texture streaming on. So that's good as well. Why is there an X there? All right, because that's where I thought maybe the other drop might be. Drop two is one we just got, so let's remove that. Uh, all right, so where is show on map? Uh, this one, okay. So that's the drop. So the treasure... Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. Hold on. Where's the buried treasure? Show on map. Okay, so that's the that's the quest buried treasure up in the mountains. So the treasure that is... In which direction is that? Okay, that's east. So the actual treasure treasure is actually this one heading off this direction, which is way off in the snow biome. And guess what? You know what? We're level 5 now, which means the cold is going to start affecting us. Hmm. Well, let's just try it. Let's just try it. And, um, we'll see how it goes. If I start to get, like, really bad cold, then we might have to scrap that idea. At least until we get warmer clothing. So it was kind of off back in this area that that other drop was too I really hope that this treasure if we manage to actually get it doesn't spawn in Zeke's because we're going to be encumbered if we if we do it this is a little bit different area I think isn't it I want to say that this area here was where all those spires were that we 
we looked at, I don't know, three or four episodes back. Because I think what happened is we came from the trader. We kind of came along through in here. And this is where I dug up some snowballs. So we're so we're kind of on the opposite side of that. That is that is a long ways into the snow. And I don't know, man. Uh, you know, the other thing about the snow, too, is it's supposed to have the, the mountain lions. And of course, it'll have bears in it. But altogether, pretty nasty place. <laughs> so going after this treasure may not be the wisest choice of action at this point. Well, let's let's just go a little ways into the snow biome and just see how it's affecting us cold-wise. We, we still have a little bit of the grace period, but my understanding is that the higher we level, the less of it we get until it goes away completely. Um, so let's just go a little ways in, like I said, and see how it's affecting us. Uh, but if we start getting, you know, really, really frosty here, uh, we're going to turn around because this is not a good idea. Otherwise, wow, look at those huge mountains in the way, too. So, yeah, mountain lions spawn in the snow biome, and we're going into the mountains in the snow biome. Something tells me that's probably not the smartest thing for us to do right now. Well, so far the cold doesn't seem to be affecting us. It's a little framey in here, though. The good news about a treasure being in the snow biome is we can dig in the snow, which will make digging real easy. Assuming it's not like up on top of one of these damn mountains. These are some serious cliffs, man. I, re <laughs> I actually really like this. This is cool terrain, I mean, compared to what we've had in the past. You know, older versions of the game had LOL mountains in them, I suppose, but they were really kind of more, for the most part, hills. Like, these are like really rugged crags and everything. Very cool. Oh, shit, there's a dire wolf. All right, do we have any stone on us? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, so let's um, see if we can sit him going the other way. Oh, does he not? Does this not? Oh, oh, what the hell is that? Oh, that's a spider. <laughs> I'm going, what the? What's that thing crawling around? Yeah, the spider will get distracted by the rocket. It doesn't look like the wolves do. Oh, I forgot about Larry the Lumberjack. Elzers, he's a bad news too. Like, seriously bad news. Okay. It doesn't look like the animals can be uh, distracted by the rocks. Let's just hope our level two and hide in the shadows. Eesh. Will keep us uh, keep him from aggroing us. <laughs> wow! Look at this countryside. This is neat. I like this. Well, the cold's not bothering us. Not yet, anyway. What is that? What in the hell is that? Man, that dire wolf will just wreck us. Um, is that like nitrate? I'll bet you it is because we've already seen lead, iron, oil, shale, and coal. Well, we can't check it with that dire wolf right there. Well, we'll probably come across another one. I'll bet you that's nitrate. I mean, what else would it be, right? Bet you that's what that is. Okay. Thank goodness we still have this uh this cold protection. I guess maybe it goes away when we hit level six. I'm not really sure. Wow, this is some rugged terrain, man. If that treasure chest is in the middle of this kind of crap. That's going to be interesting.
Oh, this is not looking good, you guys. <laughs> this is not looking good. What a shitty place for the treasure to spawn. Oh, man. How close are we to it? Oh, it's still it's still a little ways out. Wow, we are deep into the snow bomb now. This is dangerous as all get out. I'm just, just going to throw that out there. Very dangerous. But you know what? We got food to recover there. We still seem to be immune to the cold, which is good. Um, this would be a really bad time to run into a mountain lion or a, a spider or a bear or a Larry the Lumberjack. Sometimes I wonder about myself, the things I get myself into, man. Oh, this terrain is so rugged. Oh, crap. What if that treasure's on top of that plateau there? Hawaii Five O, what the hell are you doing out here? Here, let's get our stones back on our. I, he probably won't hear that. <laughs> I think we're throwing it beyond him. Thing is, is I want to go that direction so here let's do this here we, we gotta we gotta throw it closer to him or he won't hear it there he's gotta hear that what the hell's the matter with you are your ears rotten out well you know what that's alright he's going the way we want him to go anyway so it's all good oh all right, I'm like nervous, guys. I'm like so nervous right now because I don't know. This is just a dangerous situation to be in, <laughs> especially where we're currently at with the game. Super dangerous. And this terrain, oh my goodness, man! If this treasure spawns in zombies, we're we're gonna be we're not gonna be doing well. I I just honestly I don't remember if the you know, the normal treasure maps do or not. I want to say, and I'm hoping, that it only applies to the trader quests. Okay, there's a Larry the Lumberjack. Let's get him distracted. Dude, you didn't hear that? Okay. And I certainly hope that treasure's not on that plateau. It kind of looks like it is, doesn't it? Shit. Um. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Larry uh, was very fast in Alpha 17, so I can only assume he's very fast in Alpha 18. And he's damn near as bad as a biker, because he's really tough. So we don't want him to detect us. Let's see if we can get him go that direction. All right, yeah, bugger off, you asshole. Wow, guys, um, it really, really looks like our treasure's on top of that that big old plateau. I don't know if we can get up there from here. Um, let's just check it out. This is almost like a sheer cliff here. Sometimes you can kind of just do this kind of thing to get up a really sheer cliff in this game. <laughs> Alright, made it. Anything nasty up here?
Yowzers. <clears throat> the steeple draw. Doesn't look quite as bad as the one we came up, though. <clears throat> Watch this damn treasure be right down in this draw here. Oh, man. Okay. Actually, you know what? This may not be too bad. Because, I mean, it's obviously not that direction. Okay, let's do this. Let's get on a southerly facing. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, man. That's a big radius. Really? I mean, <clears throat> hmm. I can't really go any further than this or I'm going to fall. But we know that it's not going to be going to be further than that though either. So Okay, let's see here. Let's grab this. I'm going to take a food so let's do a can of pears, because that'll give us uh, uh, water as well. And let's do... Uh, nope, that's good. Okay, let's just go with that. Well, hmm. Alright, how far does this treasure go... To the west. Let's see. Okay, that's a pretty large radius. So I'm gonna th I'm gonna say it's probably right about. Let's just start digging right about here. And again, the good, the thing we have working for us is that this is in the snow. So digging is gonna be very easy. Plus, we'll we'll get a bunch of snowballs we can take back with us and use for water. We probably don't want to uh, to hit our next level whilst we're in the snow biome either. You know what? Let's let's just look down here real quick and see if we can see the thing sticking out because it's still within the range here. That would be handy, wouldn't it? No, I don't really see in that. Okay. This damn tre treasure better have some good stuff in it. This is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm going to do great lengths to get to this thing. Alright guys, well, I guess I'm just going to um, keep digging. And I will bring you back when I find the treasure. Okay guys, <laughs> I finally found this damn thing. It's right there. Oh my goodness. That was a lot of digging, because, uh, you know, this is where the surface was, up where that piece of snow is right there. Um, we also are starting to get cold, so obviously I made some campfires, as you can see, so we can stay warm. We pretty much ate up all of our canned food. we got two cans of miso left, which we're going to need for the trip home. So let's see. Let's uh, we got to make some room for the treasure, because if this does spawn zombies, I don't want to be encumbered. Uh, when that happens, all right. So let's eat the blueberries. Since we have a one percent chance of food poisoning, it's not likely that's gonna give it to us. Boy, I hope it doesn't. <laughs> that would be bad. We don't need food poison food poisoning right now. All right. Let's throw back one of these cans of miso. Let's scrap that. Um, what else do we not need? I, I wanted to take some blue spruces back, but you know what? We don't need to do that. So that gives us five slots. Anything else we can get rid of? Uh, we could probably turn those 12 feathers into arrows. Let's do that. And, um, yeah. I'll just turn those into arrows. Okay, so that gives us some... Um... Right, we still only have five slots. What the hell? What the hell, man? Um, we have one red tea left. I suppose we could drink that. 
I don't really want to throw away the bone knife because we might actually find, you know, get a kill or something on the way back. I don't relish the idea of throwing an egg away, but I don't know, maybe we should. You know what, let's just take this now. Let's just take that now. Um, we're probably going to have to make campfires on the way home, too, to stay warm. And, you know, we got we got quite a few, uh, or we got quite a ways towards the next level by doing all that digging, too. Plus, we got a bunch of clay and a bunch of snowballs, so we got uh, a good little supply of resources there for sure. Um, okay, well, let's just hope and pray that um, when we open this thing up, it isn't going to uh, spawn some Zeeks. So let's grab, I want to get all of our wood out of here, or most of our wood out of here anyway. Same thing with this guy. We'll keep a couple pieces in there so it can keep us warm. And then, yeah, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, have some campfires ready to set down as we travel back. So I don't know, let's do four and we'll put those on the toolbar here. Okay, so... Oh, shit, those don't stack? Oh, come on, game. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, we just wasted a bunch of resources there. Not, well, it's just stone, but still. Okay, yeah, I think uh, I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Um, we could pop this now, too. Where are we at with our water? And we got lots of water going on right now. Food's, food is not good. Okay, well, let's do this, you guys. I hope that um, hope this doesn't spawn any Zeeks. We have seven bullets in here. We got a, quite a few shoddy shells. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open that thing up. And then we're probably going to... We need to go back that direction. Actually, here, hold on a sec. Let's... um. Let's look at that real quick. Whoa! Uh, I don't know if he spotted us. Whoops. Okay, time to go. We got to Larry the Lumberjack. We don't want to mess with him. Whoa! Yeah! We're going to get a broken leg. Stay away from us, Larry. He's like right behind us, I think. Alright, let's book it. I think we got away from him. Okay, let's pop this down here. Gotta warm up. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> this is... This is not a good deal. Okay, look, we got some leather boots, so that's good. Um, we don't have any leather to repair them, so let's... Well... Actually, with Cowboy Boots gives us 8 armor rating and 4 cold resist. Um, these guys don't give us any resistance to cold at all, but they do have a little more armor. Yeah, let's keep the Cowboy Boots on at least until we get out of the snow biome. Oh, look at that. We got a scope. Nice. Um, yeah, you know what? This Does this only have one? I think this only has one mod slot, though. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. We'll have to save that. Can we put that on here? Well, that would be cool. We can, look at that, awesome, all right. <laughs> we got a scope for a crossbow, excellent. Uh, let's see, we got some more ammo. That's really good, we needed that. Did we get any dukes out of that deal? All right, um... Yeah, so boots, ammo, and the scope for our trouble. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, and we got a little more ammo too. So if we if we do get into trouble, we you know we got a little more ammo. All right, let's go. Oh, uh, actually, here let's make another one of these so it's ready to go. And uh, all right, so we need to work. 
this way towards our bed. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, man. Cold already? Holy crap. All right, well, let's uh, let's get a little further before we do the next campfire. Yeah, that digging took me a long time, you guys. I mean, a long time. I don't know. I didn't time it, but... Shit. This is a nasty valley to try and get through, isn't it? Uh, maybe we can work our way up through that draw there. Let's kind of carefully, as carefully as possible, go down through here. This kind of looks a little familiar, like we came through here already, but I couldn't say for sure. All right, let's plop this down. We're not getting, like, brutally cold cold, just cold cold. So that's good. All right, let's warm up. This is quite the adventure, man. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah, that treasure was was a lot of work, though. Holy Moses. And it was just in a really weird spot, too. See, the thing is, is I wasn't... I didn't know if it was going to be down the hillside. And then, you know, two or three blocks buried down from there. So it was a gamble. But, you know, it paid off. We got XP. We got clay, we got snow, and we got the stuff from it ultimately. We just got to get out of this damn snow biome alive. <laughs> so, I think we can do this though. I think we got this, guys. Alright, let's go. So, there was a... that Yeah, that's the draw we want to move up through. Um... Just hopefully we don't run into a dire wolf or a cougar or something. Cougar mountain lion, you know, same shit. Cougar has a different meaning in this day and age, but I'm talking about an actual mountain lion. <laughs> okay, here's a here's a thing of a doodle. Oh yeah, that was useful. Freaking game. Give us bullshit. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're not cold anymore. Okay, good. Maybe it's because we're we're sprinting. I think I I think I did come through here. Pretty sure that I did. Oh look, there's the normal forest biome. Well, we do not have to worry about water. For a very long time. Let's scrap both of those things. Let's put these back on our toolbar in case we need to distract Larry the lumberjack. Son of a bitch, leave us alone asshole um yeah so we don't have to worry about water for a very long time with all the snowballs we got so that was good all right guys well you know what we are out of time i'm gonna have to do some some heavy editing on this video anyways because i've <laughs> been recording for a really long time um but you know what i think i'm gonna do is i'm going to i'm gonna see if i can find that other airdrop again but i'm not gonna do that on camera and uh if i do find it then maybe what we'll do is we'll start the next episode at you know at that point so you can see what I actually get out of it okay um and hopefully yeah see we got one slot left we don't really need that we can throw that away and we don't really need that right now either everything else I want to hang on to let's put the leather boots on now that we're back into the uh, that gives us stamina. Yeah, these are these still are, are good for resistance and stuff. Um, maybe we should just wear them. We'll, we'll hang on to the leather boots for now, but uh, those cowboy boots, you know, they're not bad. Anyway, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find that other airdrop. It's, you know, it's got to be around in here somewhere. And... Uh, if and when I do find it, I will bring you back and we'll start the next episode at that point. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, bloop, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a comment, and share out the video. Appreciate all those things, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.